So since the event format is content every other day, I ended up not making a video for day two, since it was just a live stream. No Mercy was confirmed, but we kind of already assumed that. Day three had barely any new content, and instead we had 36 random achievements to do, which I'll go through later, and is also the reason why this video took an extra day and is as long as it is. Day 4 was also a down day, with no new content. However, for me personally, it was very exciting since I was invited to join the Starbreeze Q&A to talk about the Payday lore, with the man himself responsible for all these new story developments, which I mentioned in Day 1's video, as well as Overkill Oscar, who is the audio engineer responsible for all your favourite dialogue lines like if you have an hour to kill go over and watch the vod of that stream we talked a lot and managed to get some nice information that will certainly be making appearance in future videos meanwhile over on the secret is really real site the second entry for day four is a direct reference to me which is really cool but skeptic guy wrote this line that says he's on sits a lot of theories <laughs> He sits on a lot of theories and I'm gonna reach out to him, but I don't have his real name and I don't want to because the less I know, the better if Garrett kicks in the door one day. And that's where he's wrong, because the joke's on him, since I'm Commissioner Garrett. I played him like a damn fiddle. However, I also got played since during the Q&A, they had the balls to release a new FBI files puzzle. This one is relatively straightforward to solve, since the key is Garrett's wife's anniversary, or it's the date of Garrett's first contact with Kataru. Either way, it's 1212, and the message reads, Mr. Garrett, we would have thought you more intelligent than to conclude that not answering our last attempts at telephone communication would result in a positive outcome for anyone. Suffice it to say, you do not appear to fully realize whom or what you are dealing with. The truth of the matter is that if you remain loyal, fate may yet gift you with the prize you seek and hinder you from falling into Lamu, which is hell. Regardless of recent happenings, something is now in motion that cannot be ended. That will certainly add to my collection of evidence for whatever theory I decide to go with. However, we still have two days of content left, so we'll have to wait and see. Meanwhile, however, let me run through those 36 achievements added on day three and how I completed them. The majority of them I did myself and the rest I did with one other person. First off, create a build that has some melee skills and do Dragonborn Hit the punching bag in Dragon's Gym for over 500 points in a single hit. Then we have the safe words are Police Brutality and Irony, Woola 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 Buzz, and a taste of your own medicine. Kill a cloaker with the telescopic baton, stop a charging cloaker with either the buzzer or electrical brass knuckles, and kill a taser with either the buzzer or electrical brass knuckles. These should come naturally whilst playing. Drive by and human sentry gun. Kill 10 enemies from the passenger seat of a vehicle. Kill 20 enemies with the light machine gun whilst using the bipod without undeploying. The forklifts on Meltdown work for this, and that's how I did it. Snipe this and compact confrontation. Kill a sniper with a melee weapon and kill a sniper from a distance of 40 meters with the compact 40 grenade launcher. The easiest sniper to reach is in Hoxton Breakout Day 2, and the Compact 40 has a huge arc, so it can be very difficult. I did this from this spot in Brooklyn 1010. However, Meltdown could also be a good map for lining up snipers from a distance. On to Heist, we have Silver Tongue and Just Shut Up and Take My Money. On day one of Reservoir Dogs, convert the cashier in the Garnet Group Boutique to fight for you, and Hit the cashier in the Garnet Group Boutique with the Money Bundle melee weapon. Just shut up and take my money! <laughs> that is either a reference to the Fry meme or the video where I'm Don't bashing people with the Money pay Bundle. Me. Take my money! Please! Down payment and federal assurance. On the First World Bank, hit any bank manager with the Money Bundle and Kill the bulldozers in the vault within 30 seconds after jumping down the hole. 
I'm sure no one heard that, and global warming, finished the Ukrainian job in stealth after triggering the alarm with the metal detectors, and complete the Alaskan deal with all crew members using only flamethrowers. Ukrainian job has a 16% chance for more than four guards to spawn. Either restart until you can fully clear the map, or just ECM your way out before finishing. Global warming can be done solo, just disable the AI. However, snipers can be a big problem solo. A junkyard full of junkies and damn it bile on big oil kill all the bikers within one minute of starting the heist on day one and on day two have bile trigger the alarm. ECM rush is pretty easy and as long as you're patient on day two, it's not that difficult. The only issue is guards can see the open basement which, if you have multiple people, can be ECM'd until Bile arrives. Hipster, complete a day of any heist in Loud without ever aiming down the sights of your weapons. By Loud, it means it ends in Loud. I did this whilst going for my Damn It Bile achievement, whilst my friend got it during the Loud escape in Break and Fed. Van Gogh to Hell and Masterpiece. In the art gallery heist, throw a painting onto the toilet and secure all paintings in stealth without killing any security guards. Masterpiece can be frustrating solo, however it is just without killing, you can ECM rush this with multiple people. Say hello to my Halloween friend and faster faster, I can do it faster. In the cursed kill room, acquire all seven of the deadly sins masks and open at least six safes in a single run on very hard difficulty or above. All the mentions I've mentioned previously can be done on normal. With AI, I was able to open six with about a minute to spare, so it shouldn't be too difficult with others. The following achievements from here will need to be done on overkill or above, and some are quite hard. One man army, complete any job in loud on your own. This is without AI, but I believe follows the same rules as hipster, as such you could do it whilst going for. I will succeed with dignity. On Shadow Raid, complete the heist without using pre-planning favors. Just remember to make sure it goes loud before finishing. Watch the power switch. On day two of Hoxton Breakout, don't let the cops turn off the power to the server room. This isn't too bad, just make sure the host is watching the switch at all times due to client latency. Also, this achievement triggers when you finish the heist. That confused me. Remember, not Ashen. On boiling point, scan all four bodies without letting the mercenaries turn off the scanner. This is, in my opinion, the harder version of Watch the Power Switch, since you have to defend two points instead of one. However, easier than that random framing frame defend the power switches, because there's like three of them in that one. Speaking of annoying, I feel like Robin Hood. Complete undercover with every crew member using only a bow and normal arrows. Now, here is what this achievement doesn't tell you. You can't have any modifications on the bow, like a stat boost. It took us three attempts to get this due to not knowing this. You can do this without four players, just make sure you disable the AI. However, it is very hard to move the tax man with only two people since it is so hard to clear waves. Quick draw, on panic room, kill all gangsters within 60 seconds of masking up. You can do this solo, but it is quite hard. When it says all gangsters, it means all gangsters. Even the ones outside and in the red room, which requires you to kill Chavez, get the key and unlock the room and kill them. With more people, this obviously gets easier. The following three achievements need to be done on Death Wish. Matrix with lasers. On Big Bank, open the vault using the beast and escape using C4 tunneling without killing any snipers. Again, if you're good enough, you can do this with two players. However, I recommend turning off the AI since they might kill snipers. And if you have a low armor build, the snipers could hurt right at the end. The Raid Gang, complete safe house raid without letting the cops pick up any bags. This I thought would be harder, but it depends on the defend location. Either way, you can keep the team AI in place to defend quite easily. You do that by looking at them and hitting the Z key in case you were wondering. Expert landing, on Birth of Sky, have all players land on the roof of any building, car or other structure and together get 200 kills before ever touching the ground. This goes faster the more players you have since you'll get more cops, however if you're doing this with less than 4 players, 
make sure you turn the AI off. Finally, we have a few small other random achievements. Golden Grin Anonymous, spend at least 1 billion in the offshore payday. Why? On counterfeit, place a body bag on the grill. C40, place at least 40 trip mines in a single heist. This is the only achievement that actually requires three or four players. Denied, destroy 30 flashbangs before they detonate. Someone mentioned this achievement should have been called your opinion, my choice. And if you don't get that reference, you should YouTube that phrase and watch a 26 second video. Virus, play a heist together with a player who has this achievement. This looks like it would be a pain, but I reckon it will spread like, well, a virus. I think everyone that plays pubs will get this within a couple of weeks. And finally, there is Lieutenant Colonel. Convert 300 enemies to fight for you. This you should get over a long period of time playing with Joker skills. But if you're like me and you want it now, then it is literally hell. Here's what I did. Boot up car shop normal in offline mode. Run in and dominate the stairwell guard, then find another guard to dom. After the second one is surrendering, trigger the alarm by shooting glass. Then go and convert both of them. Now I was averaging 20 to 30 seconds to get two doms and it still took me almost two hours of solid grinding. It was however fine since I was transcoding most of this video footage whilst going for it and it was the last achievement I got from this new batch. And that will do it for me for today. Again, by the time this goes up it will be close to day 5 and we will have something new to play with or do. So, if you want to keep up with my crazy antics, it would warm my cold dead heart if you subscribed. I will be doing more lore-centric videos soon, I just have to collect my thoughts with all this new information. Anyway, catch you next time. FBI, open up!